Human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, infects immune cells, CD4 T cells. Depletion of these cells was thought to lead to progression to AIDS. However, studies using a primate model demonstrate that the destruction of different immune cells, macrophages, rather than CD4 T cells, was responsible. During steady state, cells from the bone marrow enter the blood. Among these are monocytes that constantly move from blood to tissue, differentiate into macrophages and destroy potential pathogens. In the early stages of HIV infection, CD4 T cells become infected and die. These cells aren't effectively replaced, so the overall number of cells decreases and macrophages become infected with HIV at a lower rate. Next, increasing numbers of tissue macrophages die from HIV infection. The bone marrow increases production of monocytes in an attempt to replace them. As HIV infects more macrophages that die, bone marrow is unable to sufficiently produce mature macrophages to fight the pathogens. As more macrophages become infected before they have matured, opportunistic infections and tissue destruction occur that ultimately defines AIDS. We've shown that, as long as macrophages act as the first line of defense, opportunistic infections don't develop, despite low CD4 T cell numbers. Since monocyte numbers remain level throughout HIV infection, increased monocyte turnover wasn't recognized until now. This shows that increased monocyte turnover consistently predicts the onset of AIDS.